Shoppers on holiday spending are in, and they're big. Online sales up 30% yesterday compared to the same day a year ago. Joining us now is Paul Oster. He's the owner of Better Qualified. Now, that is a credit repair company. Paul, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. You're a viewer, aren't you? I am. So you know what I to am. expect. I do. Okay. This is combat. That's why television. I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> uh, I put it to you. you. You do credit repair for yes. individuals and for companies. Yes. It's in your interest for people to go deep into debt and to need credit repair. You are cheering on this consumer society. You are cheering on Black Friday selling and buying when people can't afford to buy, aren't you? No, we're actually dealing with the aftermath. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we don't cheer people on. But uh, you want that aftermath. No, we don't. Uh, the reason why I'm on the show and the reason why I recently spoke down in Washington, D.C. at a government affairs conference yes. is to change the system. What system? The credit bureaus and the credit reporting system. What's wrong with it? Everything is wrong with well, it. Well, wait, 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 But that's you all have, you've got. You've you got three, three companies, right? Exactly. I don't know, what's wrong with them? Well, they are for-profit companies. They are not government agencies. And you're not? They're, I am. But yeah. I also don't control the lives of 300 million people. So you have three repositories that collect the data on all of us as consumers. Then you have a separate company, the Fair Isaac Corporation, that generates our credit scores. The government consistently tries to put their thumb on monopolies in this country, but yet they overlook the one company, there's only one, that generates the credit scores for 300 million people. All right, so Why is that? Okay, if you think it's fixed and it's a monopoly and the government's got its thumb on it, what system would you put in place? Real fast. I would probably follow the guidelines of the Consumer F uh, Financial Protection Bureau. And what they're doing is they're, they're going to try and come up with a better system. I'm the first person to agree that we need a tool to measure 300 million people. And right now, it's, it's credit scores okay. and credit bureaus. Okay, if you had a better system to measure the credit worthiness of 300 million Americans, if you had the kind of system that you want, would it show those 300 million Americans are in better shape credit-wise or worse shape credit-wise? What do you think? I think it would show that they're in better shape better? than they actually are because everyone was stricken with the downturn of the markets and the housing uh, debacle that we all face. So when someone has a 130-day late payment and it costs them 30 points in their credit score, but yet they've paid their bills on time for the past 20 years, to me, that's a flawed system. It's hmm, interesting. How much do you charge to re rectify somebody's bad credit? That depends upon the amount of work that has to be done. There's, there's not a fixed price uh, okay, in place. Okay, so Stuart Varney comes to you, and I've got... Average cost is $800. $800? That's right. So if I've got a lousy credit score, that would be, say, 500. That's yep. a pretty bad score, isn't it? That's a bad score. I pay you $800, and you get me a score of 700? Well, there are no guarantees, Stuart. Okay. <laughs> but I've got, I've got to pay you the money. You do have to. That's a guarantee. How would you get me from 500 to 700 on my credit score? How, how would you do that? How much time do we have? <laughs> there, there are a what, number. Now or in my life? <laughs> we have a six-month program that we put clients through. Oh, what, what do you do? Okay, real fast, what do you do? Well, we, we do a credit analysis, and we figure out what information is on the report that's causing you pain. Uh, the latest research actually shows... But, okay, okay. Do you then go to the credit reporting company and say, hey, Stuart Varney, he's not such a bad guy. Ease up in that area. He will pay that bill. What we do is... He'll pay a certain amount on that bill. Well, what we say to the credit bureaus is if you wish to continue to report that information, you have to verify and validate it. You have to make it accurate and timely. And unfortunately, the credit bureaus, quite frankly, do a terrible job. Okay, of that. look, I haven't paid my bills, right? I've got a lousy credit score of 500. I just have not paid. I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. You can't fix that, can you? No, I can't. For 800 bucks, you can't. Can you I fix would... it for $8,000? <laughs> no, not for, not for $80,000. We would refer you to either a bankruptcy attorney or a credit counseling <laughs> service. Ooh. Just, just one thing, real quick, Paul. I, 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 I'm really scared when you start to say the government should be in charge of this kind of stuff. It sounds like, to me, better so maybe you should try to create a company to compete against Fair Isaac. But I, like really, where consumer, to, 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 I know people in banking, and you, you're talking about this one. You want to give it from one entity to another single entity. No, I just think it should be more real, regulated. Not controlled, more, more regulated. regulated. Because I don't think anybody would argue with the fact that the system that's in place right now is not working. No, wait, a wait, a wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The current <laughs> system, which you don't like, that's is right. serving up customers to you for an average of 800 bucks That's right. to fix the system. Call me crazy. Uh, Call me crazy. I, Put I, me out of business. I, I, I'm worried about a man who wants to fix a system which is supplying customers to him. 
Some people call me crazy, but that's the reality of the situation. I went into this business. I was in the mortgage industry as a mortgage broker, uh, oh. and I went into the credit repair organization. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mortgage broker. Right. Oh, well. But at the end of the day, I, I truly went into the, the industry to change the system, not to take money from clients. But fortunately, over the past seven years, we've helped lots of people oh. fight the system. You know, I'm just bleeding right here, man. Yeah, <laughs> are you a bleeding heart, liberal, Stuart? Because that's not, not, not what I've seen. No, you, you watched the show. <laughs> would you come back on this program? I would love to. You really would? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Paul Oster, thank you very much indeed. Sir. Thanks we for having me. It. Thank, thank you. you.